Hey there guys, what is going on out there with all of you in the great legion and expanse of the sky that is the internet out there today? Yes, it is I, your fine, beautifully featured host here to once again regale you with tales of music and vinyl and all manner of such things. It's been a while since the last time I was here, I know. It's been, uh, it's been a couple weeks and even longer than that since we've met in this particular corner of my room to talk about various interesting issues, if you will. Uh, so much so that operating this camera today has been a little bit like, uh, you know, shaking off the rust and trying to catch up a little bit from uh, everything I've missed. So it's, uh, it's nice to get back in front of the lens though. I've been doing a lot of work away from this kind of stuff that involves being behind the scenes. So it's nice to be doing a little bit of my own thing again. And today, in honor of that, let's do something that I actually just recently got a little message about that was a compliment to me regarding one of my vinyl unboxing videos and that someone subscribed to me because I was one of the few people on YouTube or on the internet, but I suppose it really applies to YouTube given it's, this is the most well-known video site, who does vinyl unboxing videos. And, you know, in this, in this music market where everybody has an opinion and a review and uh, all manner of stuff like that, and I've had many of those in my last several years of doing this, uh, I thought, you know, it's great to be distinct or to maybe offer something that not everybody else is out there doing. So, with that thought in mind, and now that I'm back in front of the camera, I thought I would bring to you today uh, a vinyl unboxing review. But not just a vinyl unboxing review, one of a pretty cool deluxe package of a record that just came out this past Friday. I think it's been so long that since we've actually done a vinyl unboxing here on my channel that I've probably missed that whole period of time where we went from New Music Tuesday to New Music Friday. So to catch all of, uh, all of you up to, at home up to speed, we're now on New Music Fridays. So this record came out back on September the 11th. On a Friday, it is one of my most hotly anticipated records of the year. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody would like me to actually review it now that it's been out a few days. I've kind of actually been focusing my reviews on smaller stuff, so if anybody would actually like me to do kind of a review or just maybe gloss over it, give you my general impressions, I could do a video on that as well. Something in either vein like that. But to try and get you to the point here today, I don't mean to monologue so much in advance, but it has been a while, and I'm glad to be here talking to all of you out there who might watch this video. Uh, along with that record coming out was a pretty cool deluxe vinyl package of sorts, and because I was so excited about this artist, I was like, I have to get this. As interesting as it is, I just, I gotta get this. And that led us to where we are here today several minutes into this video now, I'm sure, to talk about Gary Clark Jr. with the story of Sonny Boy Slim. Now this is Gary's second record since I believe 2013's Black and Blue, which was his debut LP for Warner Brothers. Gary, of course, has been hailed as, you know, uh, has, has been hailed by Alicia Keys, uh, he's been hailed as the next savior of the blues. He, you know, he came out of the Austin, Texas blues music scene. He underwent, he had tutelage under Jimmy Vaughn, who, for those who don't know, is Stevie Ray Vaughn's brother. Um, you know, he, he's been at Crossroads Festival with the likes of Clapton and Buddy Guy and all of these, you know, names under the sun. He's all been a part of that. He's been hailed as... A lot of things so this record has definitely been hotly anticipated where you know black and blue was a great debut for him wasn't so much like this blues kind of savior record as it was a great mix of blues R&B uh, even hip-hop elements some pop maybe in there some old-school like 60s Otis Redding kind of crooning stuff, kind of Otis, Sam Cooke croon kind of stuff going on. Just a kind of a great mix of all his influences coming out on that first record. The production was a little bit crowded in spots and was a little bit lengthy, but it was, uh, it, it was nice to see that he could kind of extend the limits a little bit and like his solos on like When My Train Comes In and stuff were really the things that made you realize, you know, 
holy hell, this guy is, you know, he's not the next Hendrix because nobody could ever be the next Hendrix because there was only one, but, you know, this guy can make you perk your ears up and listen. So, it's great to be back with him now in 2015 with this record, The Story of Sonny Boy Slim, which is not some sort of, you know, uh, concept record or something like that. I guess it just basically refers to uh, to himself because he was called a variety of different nicknames, Sonny Boy and Slim because he was such a tall kid growing up and, and such. And it kind of references, I guess, some of those things, but also just kind of the spirit of, of, uh, of hope and... Uh, I guess that was, I, I'm trying to think of the video I watched of him talking about an interview and talking about just the, the hope and the spirit of the message behind it. And uh, it, was, it was very interesting. So go in and, uh, and definitely check that out. Uh, if you can find find that, I was like hearing backstories and, you know, all those those manner of things. But um, I'm trying to think of what else that I was uh, curious to tell you about it. Um, it, it was billed as more of like a straight ahead blues record like it wasn't so much about the production and this and that as he was gonna go this was more the blues style I went here I made it more blues I still think it's that element that mixture of elements and I feel like even the bluesier side of it with the longer solos and stuff kinda takes a back seat but that's a subject for a completely different video so let's get into this before I could just go on for another 10 minutes about how much I love Gary Clark Jr. this would be the cover for the story of Sonny Boy Slim. Back cover here, which shows the, the bus departing. Emergency exit with uh, three sides. It is a uh, is a double, double LP. Side one, side two, and side three for this record. Inside, pretty, uh, pretty plain as far as that goes. Packaging is a little bit tight around the, uh, the records if they slip too far into the fold. Record looks like this. No word on like 180 gram pressing or anything, just kind of your basic look. Has that old school Warner Brothers seal in the middle, which is nice. I like that. Has a cool, clean sound to it. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, LP2, pretty much the same story. Nothing really else to report there to show you, just same deal. Just different sides, obviously. Uh, the only thing I would say is disappointing about uh, the record itself, as far as the uh, the LP goes, is um, the fact that it doesn't have lyrics along with it. It just has this insert that is kind of just a uh, you know who plays on what, you know who's on each uh, e each song, and uh, you know touring band, the Gary Clark Jr. team thanks to so's, so's and so's and this and that. So that kind of is uh, kind of dry and dull. I like when lyrics are included. I feel like that's the only thing this is missing. And it is a gatefold release as well. So you got a pretty cool looking gatefold here with the guitar and you know different things like Paris and uh, London and all sorts of uh, different things. And uh, airplane up there with his initials on it, Hollywood, all kinds of cool stuff like that. So that's that's the LP itself. Pretty good all around. I'd say the only thing missing, lyrics, unfortunately, which I think it should have. There is also, unless I've momentarily misplaced it, uh, oh, no, here it is. There is a, uh, a download card for the record as well. So that's a nice bonus to always have. Nice to be able to have that. Uh, as for the rest of the other extras to go along with it, this is a pretty cool sticker, which is going to go on one of my uh, LP storage boxes here, which is basically what you just saw with the uh, the gatefold there in the center, with uh, you know the skyline and the whole deal there, the Hollywood thing and the guitar and all that, which I think is a pretty cool art design choice. So I like that. That'll definitely be going on something that uh, you know stick it on there to last. Um, as for the rest. This is kind of an unusual inclusion, and ordinarily it wouldn't be something I'd jump at, but given where I work these days with uh, in, in the radio business and such, I, uh, I figured I could use it. This is this was included as well, which is the story, Gary Clark Jr., the story of Sonny Boy Slam backpack. Um, not really, I mean, this is kind of a first for me merch-wise, uh, bonus interesting merch like that, and I guess it's just supposed to mimic the... Uh, 
the backpack held by the kid on the front of the cover. Pretty basic as far as backpacks go, smaller, a little smaller than most, but it's, uh, you know, good for putting important information and paperwork and documents and snacks, and especially snacks, and all sorts of things that you want to lug around. So there's that, a couple zippers in the front, some pockets, you know. You can't, uh, you can't beat that if you need to lug things around, and uh, given I do a lot of walking to work, it's a good, it's a good way to lug things you need to lug. So there's that. And last up here, we have a very nice print for this record, um, which I always get a little bit antsy. Well, not antsy so much. I always get a little bit wary, a little bit like when they say they're going to include a record print and you know it's it, to me it's always like well you could include something cool like you know because a print is not quite a poster it's like somewhere in between like a poster and just well I don't know some sort of thing somebody would paste up on like a uh, you know the, the thing in a shop to tell you a concert was that night or something along those lines but you could get anywhere from something pretty cool like this what I'm about to show you which I think is a good example of a print or and I can't take it off the wall and bring it over to show you necessarily you could get like a, a really dumb excuse for a print like the one I got for the Connor Oberst solo record Upside Down Mountain which is just basically I don't even remember if this is yeah it's like um it's like heavyweight like stock paper with the art cover in the center but but it's like the art cover isn't even enough to cover the whole paper it's just like in the in the middle and it's just it's it's very stupid it's just it looks very dumb so you get that impression like what am i going to get out of this so i was pretty happy to see when all was uh said and done that it resulted in uh in this very nice little album print here I don't really have a place for this to go, but it would be nice to maybe hang this up someday. And uh, commemorate a pretty cool record cover, pretty cool art design for Gary Clark Jr. with the story of Sonny Boy Slim. And that is pretty much that for this deluxe edition of this record. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't necessarily monologue you too long about uh, kind of introing this and talking about Gary and, and everything to do with this record as a sequel and follow-up to Black and Blue, but I gotta say overall, you know, I'm pretty excited about it as far as, a release, as far as releases go. If you've been following me lately, I've been covering some smaller, smaller releases from some, uh, some friends bands and some things like that. So I've kind of been diverting my attention away from some bigger albums and bigger musicians, but with uh, Gary's latest release out there, it's one of those things that's just uh, like undeniably cool and it's just got to be in your playlist. And that's where it is for me right now. So I do definitely suggest checking it out. Like I said before earlier, I don't know if you guys would be interested in having me do like a proper review for it. I know it's been out a couple days. Um, maybe just I'll end up sitting down with it doing like my impressions on it just a quick like off the cuff video just kind of talking to you guys about some of my general thoughts and feelings about it because I definitely got some we'll just see how I have to see how it plays out in the meantime guys thank you for watching this little video uh, it was a pleasure to bring you a, uh, a pretty fun vinyl unboxing for some pretty cool things here as we're getting into this latter half of the year now I hope you all enjoyed this and uh, I will see you all around here again very very soon.